And this is exactly what I'm talking about. I, uh, well, I haven't read this card yet, but uh, <laughs> I literally just went on a rant um, when I was doing the review for Helmaru, the previous card. By the way, this is a uh, card by TGBC for a set Gakuren. Um, I was literally just talking about making cards like this, which is <laughs> a story event that tells the story of the set. So uh, applause. Uh, thank you for doing that. I, I, again, I want to see more of that. Um, let's read the card. I haven't actually read it yet, so... But I saw that it's called Himiko Sacrifice, so I, you know... I can tell what's going on here. Alright, so... This is one white-black for a Honkai Instant. Again, I, I ranted about super types uh, in the last video, so I'm not going to do that again. Uh, if a creature you control would die, it gains indestructible until end of turn. Sacrifice a creature you control. If you sacrificed... A l okay. Sorry, let me let me just try this again. If a creature you control would die, it gains indestructible until end of turn. Instead, is probably what that should say. Sacrifice a creature you control. If you sacrificed a legendary creature, gain four life. Okay. Um. Let me drink some water. Okay. I get it. This one tells a story. Cool. Um, let's read the flavor text. After the entire plane's memory of what had happened was erased, Murata Himiko gave her life to save her student, Kiana Kaslana, from the grips of the Hersher of the Void. She is missed by her students and friends every single day. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is exactly what I was talking about in the last video. Um, I don't, if I just had to like nitpick a little bit, I don't really think you need this last line here. Um, I think this first line is, um, is, is, is great though, right? Well, at least th th this beginning part makes me want to know more, right? After the entire plane's memory of what had happened was erased. What happened? What happened? I want to know. Why was their memory erased? So that's cool. That has, that has me like asking questions. And then if you kind of sprinkle that in throughout the set, that's great. Um, okay, now let's get to the card design. So this is a three mana card that you play that you basically have to throw, a, you have to sacrifice a creature, but it makes all your other creatures not die. And, you know, if you happen to sacrifice a legend creature, you gain four life. Okay. I mean, that's, um, that's a fine card. I this I don't think this needs to be mythic. This is this card is not particularly strong. I mean it's um it's strong in the right situations, but it's very situational, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Um so um pr this one can probably be more like an uncommon. Um it it, it it I don't see anything mythic about this particular card, right? This is kind of one of those like save your creatures from a wrath card or you know but even then you still lose a creature um or um uh you know if you get into a combat right and you're making a bunch of trades you can sacrifice a creature and all your other creatures survive and you know you can kind of get some good tr kills on their creatures you know th that kind of a thing but uh you don't really need that at mythic you know um this is definitely feels more like an uncommon to me um Okay, so I, I'll need to suggest a couple wording changes for this. Um, uh, so I think this is completely unnecessary where it says, if a creature you control would die, it gains indestructible until end of turn. I think you can just say creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. That's, I mean, it's essentially doing the same thing, right? Um, and it's just, it's just cleaner. Uh, sacrifice a creature control. If you sacrifice a legendary creature, you gain four life. Okay, so here's how I would probably reword this card. Uh, as an, well, it's up to you if you want to make the sacrifice an additional cost. Um, that makes it sort of worse in the sense that they can, you you know, you have to sacrifice your creature, but then they can still sort of respond to it. Um, so. I, this is how I would word this, is probably say something like, sacrifice a creature. By the way, you don't have to say sacrifice a creature you control, because sacrifice um, sort of inherently... Uh, man, I'm not... 
failing at, at finding words. There's a, there's a great word for this that I'm just not, I'm blank on right now, but uh, implicit, Thank there it is. Thank you, myself. Uh, sacrifice is, is the, cre the, the fact that it's a creature you control is implicit in the sacrifice, because otherwise it wouldn't be a sacrifice. It would be killing something else, right? So you can just say sacrifice a creature. If that creature is a legendary creature, or can, can you, you could probably just say is legendary, right? If that creature is legendary, you gain four life. Creatures you contr uh, control gain indestructible until end of turn. Okay. So there's a couple of things I've done with this wording change. One is fixed a couple formatting issues, not formatting, but fixed a couple um, templating issues, I would say. Um, you know, like, again, you don't really need this if a creature you control would die. But also, the ordering of the of these sentences really matters here, right? Because this card reads a little confusing when you read it. You say, you know, okay, if a creature you control would die, it gains indestructible in the title turn, Okay sacrifice a creature okay if you sacrifice legendary you gain for a life it's like you get it after you read the whole thing but like if you if you sort of spell it out this way you're literally you're, you're because this card is called himiko sacrifice i understand what this card does and this just like drives it home if you order it this way right it's called himiko sacrifice immediately Sacrifice a creature, Himiko, right? If that creature's legendary, gain for a life. Okay, makes sense. Himiko is probably legendary. What do I get out of it? Well, creatures you control gain indestructible. It's Lenin's turn. She's sacrificing herself for the lives of others, right? It, it, the, it, this, this just flows much better, and people will understand the card a lot uh, more easily if you reword it this way, um, in, my, in my opinion. So... All right, so all of that aside, um, I think this is a, a, a fine card. It's it's very situational, um, which is also fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, so, sometimes, excuse me, uh, sometimes I, um, I find myself uh, rating a card based on, like, how I would like the card as a player. I try not to do that, but I think I fall into that trap sometimes. But you have to look at, at this more, you have to try to look at these like a designer, right? It's okay to have specific cards. It really is. Um, this is because this card's not very good um, or or because it's, situ it's only situationally good um, doesn't mean that it should not exist or it's a bad design, right? This is a fine, this is a perfectly fine design. Uh, I love the fact that this tells a story. Um, you know, again, I... I have to eat my own words after I just did that whole thing about the fox. Um, but so, you know, I really like that. I really like what, you're, what you did there. Um, I think really my main gripe about this card is uh, the wording order, the wording choice, and the rarity. This, it, this is definitely an uncommon, no question. Um, there's no reason this has to be a mythic. So, uh, and yeah, you could maybe tighten up the flavor text a little bit. But besides that, I think this is a really nice card. Um, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Again, I don't usually give cards that have issues like this a 7 out of 10. But um, I, I just, um, I really like the story you're telling with this. So I'm giving you a little, some brownie points for that. So good job on Himiko Sacrifice. Uh, again, if you, if you change the rarity and tighten up the the words on this card this is an easy seven out of ten easy 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 um so yeah good job on this one uh and i'll see you guys next time